I was trying to think whether there are any buildings still standing that figure prominently in the race riot. Well, the old county courthouse is now the old state capitol. It's still there, but really there wasn't any riot-related activity there, just as the state capitol is still there. The arsenal where the National Guard soldiers had encamped has been replaced by a newer building. The old county jail is long gone. A Loper's restaurant is long gone. But then, and this is a wonderful story, two young grade school students got interested in the race riot and they decided that what they wanted to do was to lobby the mayor and the city council. And they succeeded. And I thought that was a wonderful touch. The city decided to finally memorialize the riot with a series of plaques which denote different locations in town where riot events occurred. That was quite a, an effort in itself to get the city council to officially decide that it, it wanted to civically remember the race riot. On the other hand, the whole affair, as is true of so many tragedies in history, is so replete with ironies and contradictions and cruelties that one has to be left with a feeling of sadness about the victims and of anger about the perpetrators and the fact that justice was never really served. And that remains a lingering tragedy of the race riot. Here are whites in the great emancipator's hometown who are trying to drive all of the freed slaves and sons and daughters, granddaughters of freed slaves out of the community. It was very, a very compelling image. And the rioters came within a couple of blocks of Lincoln's home. The idea of having you know, these shrieking, yelling whites chasing blacks virtually in the shadow of Lincoln's home, that was very, very compelling. Springfield people, you know, want to think of themselves as good, nice people, and they don't want to think about things that may be wrong. You know, as I said before, maybe part of the reason we put it out of our memory is because it's so at odds with the image that Lincoln gives to the town.